Hey everybody, welcome to Outings by Osborne. Today I have boxes from two free piles that I went to. I think I've told you before, I love going to free piles and seeing what I can sell and also picking up supplies for my house. Um, we're really hoping to go camping this weekend, so I was pretty excited to get some um, cleaning supplies for free. And so I'll show you what I got, what I plan to sell, how much I think it's worth, what I plan to keep, and I hope you enjoy the video. My friend's baby is here, and you can hear him talking in the background, which is super cute. I think he hears me talking to y'all, and he's jealous. What are we talking about? He might also just be playing with a blanket. And the dog keeps barking at the neighbors, so it might be a little loud, but... Let's just dig right into it. So the first thing I found from the free pile is this larger size avocado green Tupperware. Um, I believe I can get this marker writing off. If I can, it'll be worth at least 10 bucks. This piece, I think it's Stanley maybe. This is a vintage um, sugar canister. These easily sell for $25, maybe more, depending on how it cleans up. I just have to decide if I want to keep it for my collection of teal pieces. I have a couple interesting pieces um, that coordinate with my <laughs> butter print. What are you talking about over there? With my butter print uh, Pyrex. Um, and actually, I have an example of that. I have this exact cup in this color teal. But I found it today in this gold color. And I actually don't know who makes these um, vintage cups. But I think they're really cool. They have like a gun on them and a lamp. And I even tried looking it up, but I could not figure it out. But like this is a symbol that's on the uh butter print and so the cup in this color matches perfectly so i'm gonna have to ask one of my resale groups what this cup is worth and or who makes it but typically a glass like this is about eight dollars for resale um along with let's see along with the glasses i got six of these mugs I'm not gonna pull them all out, but they're all in really good condition. They're um, like a yellow and brown. These are made by uh, Anchor Hawking, they're fire, they're fire King, and they're a milk glass on the inside. I have six of them. I should expect at least $25 from a set of six. Maybe more depending on how fast I want to sell them, but we'll see. Um, I also picked up these really cool anchor hawking glasses. I got three of them. I remember this all came out of a free pile in somebody's yard. Look how great these are. They're mushrooms. Can you see that? Is it showing? Okay, there we go. So cute. Mushrooms are so hot right now. I think I can get $25 for the three of these. And I got this little Made in the USA Eagle Oiler. It's in really good condition. It's really clean. Sold these before, 10 bucks. And picked up this vintage sweater from the free pile. It looks like brand new. I don't think this was worn or wasn't worn often. It's like a steel blue and it's got flowers and like sequins on it. So I thought it might be good. You know, blues and whites are really hot right now. It's a lightweight sweater. It's by Habland, uh, made in India. And I think what's really cool is it's a vintage 3X, which makes it like a 1X, 2X, which is a really popular size for resale. So I can't guess how much I'll make for it since it's the off season, but at a minimum, um, $10. I also picked up this fantastic quintessential 1980s tiger, also in the blue and white. 
these kind of cool lightweight sweatshirts it doesn't have its tag but um this one also i believe is probably a vintage 2x so like a 1x now and easily another ten dollars probably more because of the pattern unless one of my friends snags this because everybody's buying like oversized sweatshirts right now so this may not even make it out of my house that happens sometimes my friends come and shop my stuff so with that said let's see here i think i can expect Hundred and twenty bucks from this free pile, maybe more. That was being really conservative, and also accounting for the fact that some of this stuff may end up just going home with my friends. But um, well, and it may be closer to a hundred if I decide to keep this piece. But turning zero dollars into a hundred dollars is an investment that I am comfortable with. It only required my time to go to the free pile, which I love, and packing and shipping materials. But whenever I go to free piles, I also try to pick those up if they have them in the pile. So this one had a box that I can absolutely use. So free box, that saves me like 75 cents. Free, this is the good packing stuff. These rolls are expensive, so I grabbed that. And then each of those mugs was wrapped in either tissue paper or um newspaper so yeah free packing paper free boxes just here to make money all right let's see what hold on we gotta check on the baby what are you doing where are you going hi what do you see what do you see he's on a mission okay so the next box this was a second free pile. There was actually more stuff we got out of this, but um, the kids already snagged it. There were some like kids stickers and sticker books. They're long gone. They didn't even make it out of the car. So for free, this was a house clean out. So I think this is what they had to clean the house. They moved, they left a big pile of stuff outside. Are you coming here? Are you excited? I swear this baby is so young. I think he's going to skip crawling and just walk away. All right, first thing, two sets of two-pack scrub buddies, never opened. Free. Almost full Bissell for the steam cleaner. We use our steam cleaner a lot because of my allergies. This stuff's expensive. Free. And also... The pet urine eliminator, people's pets are over here all the time. This is, I don't even know if this was opened. Uh, yeah, they used like one treatment. So free. Let's see what's next. This is Easy Off Cleaner Degreaser. So I actually use this for projects, for crafting projects. This is a big bottle and it's expensive. So that's gonna save me like $6 in crafting money. I don't know if we'll totally use this, but with friends coming over, we might stain an odor eliminator. I may also take this over to my neighbor. He just got a new tiny little puppy. She's a white lab in her, or yellow lab, and her name is Dolly. I met her yesterday. She was eight weeks old. I got a bottle of pink grapefruit, and this is the Method Cleaner. These smell so good, so when I clean my trailer today, I'm just going to use this and some plant powered window cleaner streak free also a full bottle of unopened window cleaner and totally awesome degreaser spot remover i think these bottles i may donate to another group that collects cleaning supplies pretty often I will see if they need any, but this definitely saves our household quite a bit of money on cleaning supplies. The other box will make my household money and allow me to do donations. So I would say all in all, this was probably, this whole trip was probably worth $200 to me. Figure figuratively, I guess, um, either in savings, donations, or 
um, sales. All right, I gotta go play with the baby. He's not crying. He's actually trying to push something, but I think he's getting ready to cry. So I will see you on the next adventure. Bye.